going to show you the next stator here. This one is going to be small wire, many turns, two poles, so each one of these is wound in the opposite direction. I'm going to try to get as many turns on this as I can. I made a pattern for my next rotor and it's based on this size so as you can see here this is a uh, this is what it looks like. This is going to be the, the rotor for the magnet in the N52 version of this, which this is, this is using electromagnets, using the alternator out of an automobile, which is basically 12 poles, just like this. So you got a coil in here, and this energizes the coil, and each one of these plates is attached to one of the sides of the coil which polarizes these to be north-south um, on the way it's wound here the direction that the plate is attached to the front of the coil determines whether it's a north or south so these are 12 pole which in this version this is 12 poles as well but this will be two inches thick based on the N52 magnets that are 144 pound pull magnets that will ride on this rotor. Um, so this is a little different here, but this stator here is based on that principle, but it's thin. It's, not, it's only one inch thick. So it's... Uh, took a bit to get this worked out. Now this material here, this is the same material that this is, which is just uh, a transformer plate. It's a little more carbon, high carbon, than standard plate because it's real brittle stuff. It's used for toroid uh, step up, down, step down transformers. But in this case, the way this is wound here, uh, it's a, a little bigger ring, so it's a little thinner, but it fits this design here, this motor design. So this is going to be the next one wound. But I wanted to show you here, this is basically to allow me to keep these winds separate. You know, it's just little plastic pieces I designed here like this. And then they're taped on and taped together here to allow me to keep my spacing proper so that's just a little update this took most of the day here to build this thing uh, it doesn't look like much but um, it's a lot of work to get it precise enough for the coil design that I need so so the, I'll have this wound here shortly on on the alternator version of this generator. So for now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.